Hey everyone, how you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this video. My name is Paul Turner, if you don't already know, and yesterday I had the privilege of going down to London to attend some training that Ray and Jessica Higdon had put on. Now Ray and Jessica are top marketers, they flew over all the way from, I think it was sunny Florida, to come over to England um, to do um, a three hour training. Now obviously they've been sightseeing and having a great time. But uh, I was lucky enough to get tickets to go. I think it's wrong of me not to share some of the stuff that we taught. I'm going to share one key thing here um, that we learned last night. Uh, well, probably two. One is that we overcomplicate it all so much. We really, really do. Um, both fantastic speakers, particularly like what Jessica taught um, about approaching people on social media. And I'm going to do uh, a training on everything I learned, so I took about eight pages of notes. So I'm going to do a proper hangout and, and go through more for members of my team, but I'll open that up to guests if you're not in my team and you want to watch, that'll be fine. Uh, and I'll dare say I'll put a link around this video somewhere. But we talked a lot about um, sort of people coming on board and not doing anything. And um, I think sometimes that's because they don't know what to do, even though they've seen the same training that, that we have um, and has worked for me, excuse me, that's my phone. So even though they've had the same training, even though they've had the same training, um, for some reason they're not taking action, they're not making it work for them or it's not working for them. Um, and a lot of the time people don't take action, they just don't know what to do. So um, Jessica came up with this formula and I was speaking to a few members of their team and they, they've used this formula and, and it seems to work. Now, the income disclaimer, there's no guarantees. Obviously, you're the biggest variable in your business. Common sense dictates that results can vary. You know, we're all growing up. I don't need to go on, but you know, I'm not making any promises. However, um, so um, what you need to do is look at the level you want to be, be at in your business. Now, whether that's an advancement level or whether that is... Um, a monetary level, an income level. So let's suppose to do that in your business and be honest with how many people you need. Often when I say to people that are pitching me on a deal, I say, well, how many people do I need to make $1,000 a month? And they go, Paul, you only need three. And I say, well, that's fantastic. I can sign up three people today. So each one gives me $333 a month. That's fantastic. That sounds like a great business. You must be really rich. And they're like, oh, well, well, well hang on, because those three will go out and get 30 customers each. I'm like, oh, hang on a minute. So they're going to get 30 customers each that have to spend so much money each month buying the product. So they're really, that's three times 30, which is 90, and then the three distributors, that's 93 to make $1,000. And they're like, well, yeah, but those three will, no, hang on, be honest. Okay. So let's suppose in your business to get to the income level you want, you need 1,200 people. And I'm picking that number to keep the maths easy, but it's not uncommon. Um, divided by 12 months. So I want to be there in a year, divided by 12 months, gives me, in this case, obviously 100 people a month. Okay, That's what I would need to recruit in my business, not necessarily personally, but me and my team would need to get in my team 100 people a month on average. And then what you do is you times that by 10%. And in this case, that gives us 10. So the magic number is 10 people to speak to each day. Now, what to say to them, I'm going to go over when I do, I'll do a hangout, okay, because this isn't meant to be a long video. Um, but if you speak to 10 people a day, and in the early days, that's you, that's just you, because you are you are the head of your team. So in the early days, you're going to go out and speak to 10 people every day, consistently, and, and it will work. Now, I'll give you another takeaway. She said, if you, you know, everybody feels like quitting. Um, you could speak to 10 people a day for 30 days straight, not sign anybody up. Tendency is to go, it's not working. It is working as part of the process. Every time you're doing it, you're getting better, you're getting better, you're getting better. And, and Jessica said she'd failed for a long time before all of a sudden, bang, you know, it just started working. It's how coachable you are, how willing you are to do it and practice. And you've got to learn to be a great apprentice before you can learn to be a great leader or, you know, a great business owner in this kind of business. The difference is, you know, if you go to a... If you go to um, 
into industry uh, and be an apprentice. The, the wages are generally very low. You're very poorly paid because you're learning the trade. The good thing about network marketing is you can actually be very well paid while you're learning the trade. So if you can get the mindset and lose the ego and be, okay, I'm an apprentice, and let's imagine you're in a competition with 10 other apprentices, you should be the best apprentice. And how do you be the best apprentice? You learn and you apply what you've learned the right way. That's all you need to do. So get your number of people you need in your business, the honest number, divide by 12 gives you, in this case 100, times 10% gives you the figure. So let's do that for the business I'm in. You can do that with 88 people to make $100,000. So I want to earn $100,000 recurring income every year. So that means I need 88 people at a certain level, okay? Um, and that's so they're the people I'm going to go for. So uh, 88 divided by 12 gives me 7 point something, so let's round it up. I can't have uh, a part of a person, that would be horrible. So we're going to go 8 times 10% equals 0 0.8. So I need to speak to less than one person a day. So let's, let's just call that one person. I need to speak to one person a day on average. And as my team grows, they can take some of that strain off me. But it's all about consistency and leading from the front. So I'm going to make a goal to speak to one person a day. And again, I'll do how to do it. We already teach it in the 4K Club, in, you know, the website that, that I run. We're, we already teach it. I mean, our mentor, Darren Little, has already teaching teaches this stuff. That was no different to what Jessica was teaching about how to contact people. I did get a few key phrases and stuff that I've written down. If you want them, you'll have to come to the training or watch the replay or whatever. Like I say, there'll be a link. Um, but even if you're part-time and you're stressed for time, are you telling me you can't speak to one person a day? And what carries you through? What what stops you from doing that? It's because you haven't got a strong enough vision. And that's another video that I'm probably going to make soon. We spoke about vision. But but there you go. There's the magic formula to work out how many people you need to speak to each day. Hope it serves you well. Hope your business grows. And thanks a million for watching.